on Passover, being the Passover lamb, rose from the dead on first fruits. The Ruach, the Spirit of God, on the anniversary of the giving of the law at Mount Sinai, God gave the giving of the new covenant on Shavuot. And, uh, and then we have uh, Rosh Hashanah, which is, uh, speaks of another prophetic event in God's timetable. Yom Kippur, we celebrate. Actually, our congregation, our first service in 2012 was on Rosh Hashanah. Now, in Yom Kippur, do you fast? Yes, many of us do. Some don't, but most, mm -hmm. most of us fast. You do. So, it's, so you really observe most of the Jewish traditions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We build a sukkah. So you have yes, I was I came to one of you your came to I the came circle. to a That's circle. Right. That's right. Yes, because I I've had such a mixed childhood of, you know, celebrating my parents. We celebrated Christmas and Easter. I never even found out that I was really Jewish until I was about ten years old because right. my parents kept it from us. Otherwise, my father would have lost his job. You know, he was in a situation in a corporation and they didn't hire Jews at the time. Mm. So I I was sort of a, a Jew in hiding and not knowing and until later on, you know, so um, I'm sort of like, I love all religions because I've, I've been blessed with Christmas, I've been blessed with Easter, I've been blessed with Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, so I have it all. And, um, you know, and I think that's what people should do. They should embrace religions, all religions. And there's something nice about every one of them. And, you know, um, I, you know, we have little time, I think, see our credits coming up. And I, you know, I really want to thank you, Roy. Doc, that's Rabbi Roy Schwartz. Um, and I really want to thank you for, you know, I wasn't able to discuss, you know, the, with, with the person sitting next to me. And now I was able to discuss what, you know, and I'd like to learn more. And,